Greetings and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you all my Exodus records. Now, I've not got as many as you might think because I have my catalogues on CD and I'm still trying to track these down. I'll quickly show you which ones I need. Oh, before I start that, I haven't got Force of Habit, never come across that. I didn't pick up the last album they bought out. But I'm chasing these ones. Another Less Than Violence live album, absolutely superb. Impact is Imminent, another great album. Shovel-Headed Kill Machine and the Atrocity Exhibition Part A. So I'm still trying to track them down. But I will show you what I have got. Starting with Exhibit A, I've got a 7-inch Pitch Disc single from 2010, Riot Act. I picked this up on eBay probably maybe 12 years ago. You've got a great picture of the band there, Rob Jukes. You don't see many extra 7-inch singles, so uh, that's pretty cool. Then I've got a 7-inch flexi disc from a magazine back in the 80s. I've got heaps of these. I've got Halloween, Anvil, Onslaught, Ozzy. Every time you bought a mag, you got a uh, flexi disc. That's pretty cool. That's deranged on there from the Pleasures of Flesh album. Ding dang do. Then from 85, debut album, Bonded by Blood. And to this day, it's still my favourite Exodus album. you got Bonded by Blood, Exodus, Metal Command, Piranha, Strike of the Beast. Absolutely iconic, one of the greatest thrush albums ever. Paul Bailoff, unbelievable. Then the follow up album in 87, Steve Suzo, Suzo, whatever you want to call it, Pleasures of the Flesh. Absolutely amazing, deranged, it's on here. Great, great intro. And the funny thing was, maybe four years ago, I started buying records on Amazon. And I seen a reissue of Pleasures of the Flesh, and I'm like, what the hell? And this was the cover on it. Like a cartoon cover. I'm not quite sure what the idea was, but uh, I had to pick it up just for the alternative cover. Happy days indeed. And you've got a uh, great picture of the band there. So there you go, two copies of Pleasure of the Flesh. Then I've got a 12-inch picture disc LP, Fabulous Disaster. Ding dang do. Great looking picture disc. And you've got the uh, Toxic Waltz on this one. Cool song. So there you go. Then from 2004, this is a killer album, eh? Tempo of the Damned, just like the t-shirt. Double album, you've got some killer tracks in here. Scar Spangled Banner, Woe Is My Shepherd, Blacklist, uh, Forward March, Cullen the Herd. If you've never heard this album, do yourself a favour and pop it on. It's absolutely superb. Tempo of the Damned. Then from 2010, we've got Rob Jukes, Exhibit B, The Human Condition, another... Double live, double live album, double album, sorry. And I saw I saw Exodus in 2010 in Perth at the Amplifier Bar. I kid you not, there would have been more than 200 people there. The band were like that far away from me. Gary Holt was stood there, Rob Jukes. And I'm like, what, where is everybody? Because like three weeks later, they were play, Metallica were playing at the um, Birdswood Dome with Lamb of God. And there must have been about 20,000 people there. I'm thinking, why, why are we, none of you guys watching Exodus? It was absolutely a killer show, eh? Unbelievable. You can't, you can't work some people out sometimes. But anyway, that's just the way it is. And the last one I picked up was uh, from 2014. Steve Suzo, Sozo. Blood in, blood out. With a zombie picture on the front there. This was the last one I picked up. Another double album. Absolutely amazing stuff. So, I'm still going to track a few down, but uh, that's what it, record collecting is all about. I will find them eventually. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. I will see you next time. Bye for now.